Hey, uh, what's going on people? So in this video, we're going to write a small program to sort the elements of an array. Let's begin with an array of integers, and then later we'll create an array of characters. The data type will be int, and let's name this array. And assign some values, make sure that they're not in order. Just make up some numbers, that's fine. Looks good to me. Now let's calculate the size of our array, because we'll need to know how many times we're going to iterate through our array. So int size, I will set this equal to the size of operator, pass in our array. This will calculate the size of our array in bytes, and to find the number of elements, we can divide this by the size of just one element. So size of array divided by the size of array at index of zero. Size will equal the amount of elements within our array. And just to keep this code more organized, let's declare a function to actually sort all of this for us. So we don't have to do that within the main function. So let's declare a sort function. The return type is void, we're not returning anything. And let's name this sort. And there will be two parameters, an array of integers and integer size. And let's invoke this function. We're invoking sort, and then we need to pass in two arguments, our array and size. Within the sort function, we'll need nested loops. We can use for loops. So the outer for loop will be int i, set this equal to zero, and we will continue this for loop as long as i is less than the size of our array minus one, and then increment i by one. And then we need an inner for loop, so let's copy our outer for loop, paste it, and make a few changes. So the index for the inner loop will be j, and we'll continue this as long as j is less than the size of our array minus 1, then j++. Here's what we're doing within our array, so we will begin at our first index. We're checking to see if the element on the left is greater than the element on the right. If so, we're going to swap these two values, and we'll need the help of a temporary variable, much like what we learned in the last topic. So let's check to see if the element on the left is greater than the element on the right. If it isn't, we do nothing. So we need an if statement. If array at index of j is greater than array at index of j plus 1. We're adding plus one because we're checking the element directly next to the one that we're currently examining. So if the number on the left is greater than the number on the right, we will perform a basic variable swap. So let's declare a variable int temp to temporarily store some value. And I will set this equal to array at index of j. Now I need to move the element on the right over to the element on the left. Array at index of j equals array at index of j plus 1. And then lastly, whatever's within temp, I'm moving that to the element on the right. So array at index of j plus 1 equals temp. And that's it. So if you would like to optimize this, you can set size minus i minus 1. Basically, this is a bubble sort. So depending on the size of this number, it's going to find a final resting place. Since 9 is going to be the largest, it's going to be pushed all the way to the right because we will examine 9 against each of these numbers. So once 9 is pushed all the way to the right, all of these other numbers that are less than 9 will be on the left. So it's already partially organized. And now we just need some way to display the elements of our array. So let's declare a print function. Void, and let's name this print array. And these will have the same parameters. An array of integers and int size. And this is a basic for loop. So for int i set this equal to zero, we will continue this loop as long as i is less than the size of our array and increment i by one. And I would like to display each integer. And maybe I'll separate these with a space. And we are displaying our array at index of i. And all we have to do is invoke the print array function and then pass in our array and our size. And let's take a look. Fingers are crossed. Oh yeah, there we go. Our array is now sorted. Now if you would like this in descending order, all we have to do is switch this if statement around from greater than to less than. And our array is sorted in reverse order. 
And we could sort an array of other data types too. This time, let's sort an array of characters. So let's declare an array of characters this time. And make up some characters. So then to sort an array of characters, let's change the data type of our array to characters. And then when we display each character, make sure that we're using the C format specifier because we were using D before. And this should now be sorted. Yep, so that's currently in reverse order. So then to switch that around, just change the sign. All right, there you go. So yeah, everybody, that is a simple program to sort the elements of an array. This is a basic bubble sort. And if you're interested in learning more about sorting algorithms, I do have a playlist on data structures and algorithms. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to sort a simple array in C.